So we move to the next sutra where it is very clear. He says, verse 13 says, or else there is a fear of fall from the spiritual path. Why is there a fall on the spiritual path? Many years ago, there was a very nice movie which had come. It was called Jai Santoshi Mata. You know, I, I use this example quite a lot. Jai Santoshi Mata. Maito Arati Utaru Re Santoshi Mata Ki. It's a very nice song, you know. In the past, we used to sing it. Kanan Kaushal and all those things. I mean, you won't even know. Now, what happened was, in that it is very clearly written, that goddess, Santoshi Mata, doesn't like anything khatta. Khatta means sour. So please don't give anything sour to her. It was mentioned. So think about it. Tomorrow if I give something sour to her, you know, she she's going to get sour with you. Isn't it? Right? There are lots of people in our world, you know, they will say, I have an allergy. I have nuts allergy. Sir, if you have nuts allergy and you are not taking the nuts, for you it is okay. But for giving it to Krishna, chalo nut bhi dega, ye bhi dega, wo bhi dega. No. Better listen to the words carefully. You see, we have some, I mean, once in a year we have pujas over here. And in the puja, invariably somebody will come and will say, can we make puliyogare? Puliyogare is made out of khatta ingredients. I don't think Krishna had any time had puliyogare. You understand there is one deity in South India. He is a deity. Okay. He may love puliyogare because he comes from the Prakriti. Those who come from the Prakriti, they eat anything. So if you give Pulyagare to him, he doesn't mind. But don't give it to Krishna. Krishna doesn't know Pulyagare for that matter. So please understand, this verse is extremely important for you to follow. If Krishna says, give me white color flowers, don't go and give him some other, you know, color flowers. If he is wearing yellow color dhoti, no? No, no, no. Uske upar green dhoti bhot achha dikhega. Le, orange dhoti. You think Krishna is some sannyasi or what? Putting orange dhoti to him? Somebody sent me one picture of Krishna today. And I said, you know, the first time I am seeing him not in blue color. He is black. He looks more like me. <laughs> so, <laughs> the person is writing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the answer is like that. I don't think, you know, there are... See, I, I was from the this paint industry. So I know the various shades of blue. Now don't think about the other blue. Okay. Otherwise. Okay. There are too many other blues in this world. Nowadays it is free also. Okay. So let us. Let us so Krishna is blue. I mean who told you this Krishna is blue? He is the color of the sky. Now the moment you say color of the sky, the sky is blue. So we will paint him blue. No. He is the color of that sky which is at the point of neither darkness nor light. Okay. It's a shade of grey. Okay. It's a greyish tone. The skin tone is different. If they say that he had 16,108 wives, do not discount it. Believe in it. So don't say anything against the scriptures in the first place because they are there. And if there is a mention, just go by it. Otherwise, there is a problem of falling down. Falling down on the spiritual path. So, you know, one day, one person came here and he brought a lot of stuff to do puja. And then he said, you know, I want to do puja, which is that from the heart. I said, very good, please do. And then he brought out some 
you know, batis and this and that and all those things. And he kept it and he arranged it in a particular manner. The, I was asking him, why is he doing all these things? I don't know. On the left side, this goes, right side, this goes, this goes here and this goes there. Where is it written? In the scriptures. Very good. If it is written in the scriptures, exactly. Please understand it is written in the scriptures. Otherwise, tomorrow we'll, I'll put your nose on top over here and your mouth somewhere behind. Is that okay with you? No, no. Your eye better be here. One eye here and one eye here. It is going to be problematic for you. Right? So everything has to be in its own place. And then only it will be correct. So scriptures are written in a particular manner so that you follow them in a religious pattern. And if you do not follow them, then don't get into it. Just give one tulsi patta and be happy with it. Got it? So, in this verse he says, follow this religiously. Otherwise, there is a problem of falling down. So, Narada says, don't do this. Got it? <laughs>